Let's do another example of an inductive proof about a recursive program. So you'll recall that the sum from i equals 0 to n of i actually has a closed form expression as n times n plus 1 over 2. Let's do something similar with code, with a program. So we could express the summation on the left-hand side here as a recursive function. I'll call it sum2 of n. So this sums up the values uh, of all integers from 0 up to n. And it does it recursively by saying, well, first, if n is equal 0, then just return 0. Otherwise, return n plus a recursive call on n minus 1. So we're going from the top down, not the bottom up. Well, of course, sum2 of n ought to be equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. Let's prove it. So there's the code that we want to do the proof about as well as the claim that we want to prove. So let's do this proof. It's going to be by induction. So I'm starting off my proof by induction. I'm stating what the property P is that I want to show holds of all natural numbers n. First, we'll do the base case. OK, the base case was really easy to do. Uh, we know that sum to 0 evaluates to 0 because of the if expression up here that returns 0. Uh, and we know that 0 times anything also evaluates to 0 by algebra. Next, let's do the inductive case. Now let's pause here. Make sure we get the inductive hypothesis right. This is where I see people mess up the most. So we want to take that property p and instantiate it on the smaller natural number k. So that means we take p here, and everywhere we see n in it, replace it with k. On the other hand, we want to show that that property p holds of the larger natural number k plus 1. OK, so what can we do with sum 2 of k plus 1? Well, does the function tell us anything? Uh, if we pass it in and it's equal to 0, then we return 0. Otherwise, well, that's not going to be equal to 0, right? Because we're taking a natural number k, which has to be at least 0, and adding 1 to it, so that's at least 1. Therefore, we're definitely going to be in the else branch. So we know how that piece of sum 2 evaluates. It evaluates to its argument plus sum 2 on the next smaller number. OK, we'll pause there. We've taken a step of evaluation, and we've simplified by algebra. And now we have a simpler expression that involves sum 2k. Now, we're stuck there. We don't know what k is. We don't know how to evaluate that. But we do have our inductive hypothesis, which says what sum 2k is. k times k plus 1 over 2. Let's use that. Next, if we manipulate these terms a little, we'll see that it does reduce to the right-hand side of what we wanted to show by algebra. I won't bore you with those manipulations. I'm sure you can work them out yourself. And that finishes off our proof by induction, QED. We're done. So now we've shown that that piece of code evaluates the way that uh, we learn from CS2800 or that we learn from mathematics. Uh, in, in terms of the closed form formula it should produce. But we've proved it about an implementation in OCAD. Okay.